So we've had the Model Y now for a little over a week. So I thought I'd make a video on how it's been going. The car has just around 245 kilometers on it now. We took delivery of it with 12 kilometers on it. Now the delivery experience, as you may or may not know, it goes different ways for each person. For us, it was mostly seamless. My Model 3 pickup was much more seamless. This time, for whatever reason, they had some errors with their paperwork department, whatever, and it was giving me a different amount on the delivery day. It changed three times. Actually, the day before delivery, the amount owing changed three times. So it was different from my bank draft. I didn't have a chance to go and get a new bank draft. So Tesla changed it back for me, but that was the day of delivery. When I got to delivery, the amount owing on the front of my packet was the correct amount. And then inside all the documents had the old amount that had been altered at some point the day before. So my bank draft was different. So they said I could either wait two hours for their system to get fixed or whatever and then print off new paperwork or I could take a Model X that they had and I could go to the bank and get the difference on, on another bank draft which again cost me nine dollars for the bank draft so another nine dollars bit of an issue there with pickup but overall everything else was seamless in terms of the delivery you know we took delivery looked over the entire car now I didn't film much because I brought too many things in my hands to carry but we pulled up with my old RAV4 pulled up walked in gave them the keys for that got all the paperwork from them got access to the new Model Y went in the new Model Y noticed the paperwork was wrong dealt with that from there then yeah we hooked up our phone phone hookup was a lot easier because we already had a Tesla on the account it was actually very seamless in terms of the phone hookup gave access directly to my account so I didn't have to set up the phone key situation on my phone I did have to add my wife's phone to it since she is driving this on the daily in terms of the quality of the build on this Model Y it is from Shanghai the China factory and it is really good quality I find the build quality on this is much better than my Fremont built Model 3 there's no panel gaps, no issues like that on this one where my Model 3 did have some of those issues. There's even like a hair in the paint on my Model 3 where this one doesn't have any of those that I've been able to spot. So build quality overall is great and interior is great. And yeah, it came with mud flaps where my Model 3 did not. I think what happened with my Model 3 was they didn't have any in stock at that time, so they didn't do that. If you want all the differences, if you want to know all the differences between the two cars, check out the video over here and check that out.